Hey everyone, so yesterday I made that video um, presenting the studies we could do in the Book of Mormon uh, to try to understand the future of the Book of Prophecy Kurt Cobain possessed. And, um, you know, I've been studying this stuff myself and um, I just wanted to show, uh, show some things that are really cool. So here we are in 1st Nephi 13 and this should be cross-referenced with 2nd Nephi 27. Of course, 2nd Nephi 27 are the most obvious place we could see Kurt Cobain's prophecy being a preliminary messenger for the last days, John the Baptist, and in utero being, um, like the, if you could prophetically, if you could biblically understand the concepts of the songs in in utero, um, we could actually get glimpses and guesses of what's in Kurt's book. Um, now we could tell from the prophecies that Kurt's book will not come out until all this wickedness is stamped out um, and the sealed portions. Um, it will not come out because the stuff is very sacred. And yes, there will be apostasy in the future, but and I know people are drooling over that, but that's there's no reason for that. But anyway, so if we can understand Second Nephi twenty seven. Okay, we cross-reference 1st Nephi 13. And really, you could kind of splice these scriptures and make a timeline. Like, intersect them together if you have eyes to see. But I want to show you. So, yes, we could see how this applies to Kurt Cobain's book. Because it's going to be our future Bibles. But 1st Nephi 13 is about our previous Bibles that we have now. It's about the story of the Bibles that we have now. And how the plain and precious things have been edited out. And um, so here we are. <clears throat> and I looked and beheld a man among the Gentiles who was separated from the seed of my brethren by the many waters. And I beheld the Spirit of God, and it came down and wrought upon that man. And he went forth upon many waters, even unto the seed of my brethren who were in the promised land. Okay? So this verse is about Messiah because there are countless scriptures written about him. Uh, the Gospel of Thomas tells us um, it's because so his eyes are not averted. But historically, this is also about Paul and the story of our Bibles and how Paul, you know, he wrote so much of our Bible. So this verse is not only about Messiah, but we can see the messianic reflection of Paul. So if you have eyes to see this, um, this would prove that Paul is not a false apostle and all that kind of stuff. It proves it. So it's really cool to see that. And and if you read, continuing the text, you'll see the historical concept of those who war against the 12 apostles will be bound for destruction. That would be destruction of the first temple, 70 years after Christ was crucified, and all that kind of stuff. So it's really cool that we could see that historical faucet and dimension of the scriptures as well. Okay, so we're jumping over to 2 Nephi 27, in, right in the depths of the prophecies of Kurt's book, and him being a preliminary messenger for the last days, John the Baptist. Okay, um, now at the bottom of your screen, verse 15, okay? But behold, it shall come to pass that the Lord God shall say unto him, to whom he shall deliver the book, these words which are not sealed, and deliver them to another, that he may show them unto the learned. Okay, so we could see this verse in the story of the birth of Moses in Exodus. Okay, so uh, Messiah would be Moses, and he was first weaned by the daughter of Pharaoh. That would be Kurt Cobain's daughter. Um, she, you know, we all know um, Francis Bean is a symbol of the daughter of Zion. It's one of the many daughters of Zion. I've done the studies on that. So she'll fall away in corruption. We'll have to go through her own walk. But in the story of Moses, it says he will then be raised by a sister. And so um, that hasn't come to pass yet, prophetically speaking, but we can find that confirmed in this verse. But behold, it shall come to pass that the Lord God shall say unto him to whom he shall deliver. Um, so Messiah will eventually, in another realm, um, get the book that Kurt Cobain possessed. And of course, when we read the prophecies, um, this book will, will not go out to the public, especially in times of wickedness. Um, and there are sealed portions to this book as well. 
Okay, another thing that we could be looking at, I want to put your attention to verse 19. Because it says, Messiah will eventually bring forth the words of Kurt's book, but will not give to book, the book to anybody. Um, especially the wise who, who just want to get gain of the world. Um, and it's sealed. So, um, so there's an interesting prophecy in here, and it, and it entails somebody who we don't know who it is. Wherefore, it shall come to pass that the Lord God will deliver again the book and the words thereof to him that is not learned. I don't think that could be Messiah. And the man that is not learned shall say, I am not learned. So I think this is the key to understanding when this book will go forth to the Gentiles that we read of in First Nephi 13, if you're following me. Um, I don't think this is, um, I don't think this is Messiah because he says he's not learned. Um, it could be one of his children, but this is typically of God. Is God uses um, the foolish things to confound the wise? He always sends the truth and the wisdom come out of the mouth of babes. Why? Because it slows the enemy. He always sends someone who is not seasoned in the faith that has the key and revelation to everything. And he sends them out there amongst the wolves. And it just, Satan just says, well, we got this so much in our pocket, we could just sit back and relax. And that's why God always sends a babe to um, produce the wise things. So, you know, we see that pattern right here in this verse. And that's going to be the future of Kurt's book when it finally goes forth onto the Gentiles when we read of this in first net 513 um so i wanted to show that to people that's interesting who this person is i don't know uh we, we don't know okay so that's about all i have i just wanted to make those points um if there are any lost sheep of the house of israel um looking to get crumbs from the master's table or whatever um if you are doing these studies um you know the study that i presented yesterday i'll leave it in the scripture box below if i can um, yeah, these are things to look at. Really cool stuff that um, I found. So, okay, have a good day. I hope you're all well.